Hi, this is Whitney, and in this lesson, lesson four, we will cover Camera Raw. This is an amazing feature that gives you a wide range of controls that allow you to apply corrections and enhancements to photographs before you open them in Photoshop. Yes, I said before you ever open them in Photoshop. Before we start, I do need to say that Adobe Camera Raw has the ability to do quite a variety of adjustments to your images. What I will do is go over some of these, hopefully giving you enough of an overview so you're familiar with how to use it. Like everything else in this Photoshop software class, you will do most of your learning by exploring on your own. I will highly recommend that you work along with an image or two with me while watching this lesson. And also, once you finish this lesson, open an image or two or three or 20 and play around with it. This is how you'll get to know it and know how to use it. Okay, so let's get started. As an overview of Camera Raw, the learning objectives are for you to understand the importance of Camera Raw and how photographers use it to increase the quality of each photograph. You will see how to perform basic tasks in Camera Raw and try them on your own. And hopefully after this lesson, you'll be able to make a connection between editing images in Camera Raw and editing images in Photoshop. I would like to take a bit more time here before we launch Camera Raw and define what Camera Raw is exactly. I've been mentioning it over and over, so what is it? Adobe Camera Raw, or ACR for short, is a plugin add-on to Adobe Photoshop that allows users to perform photo corrections to images prior to launching Photoshop. These adjustments include the ability to manipulate exposure, contrast, white balance, you can correct digital noise found in photographs, correct photos that have been under or overexposed or are blurry or have lens distortions. You can also crop and straighten photos and add many different enhancements to make your photographs perfect. Some more information about Camera Raw. Well, I mentioned the helpful corrections you can apply. I also mentioned enhancements. But Camera Raw not only processes RAW files, but it also will process TIFF and JPEG files. Camera Raw can be applied as a filter to any image layer in Photoshop via the filter menu. The corrections and enhancements that you use in Adobe Camera Raw are editable. They are saved as a set of instructions to the file that you're working on, which are applied when you open the image in Photoshop. This is a great way to work in a non-destructive manner meaning you preserve the original information of the image file. Non-destructive editing is always going to be the preferred way to edit images. Adobe Camera Raw is ideal to use on an image that has been captured in a raw format. I think it's important to understand what a raw image capture is. So what is it? A raw image has been captured in the camera without any processing instructions and is essentially and literally the raw information captured on a camera's digital sensor. Compared to a JPEG or TIFF image file, these files have been processed by the camera's internal computer. Most digital cameras have the ability to capture images in raw format as well as JPEG. Some cameras also have a TIFF format, but this is not as common. I always recommend using raw capture over any other format because it allows you to capture more information. The biggest benefit to capturing in raw is the fact that your camera does not process the image inter internally and you maximize the information in the image file. Just so you know, if you have the ability to capture in raw and you set your camera to capture in raw, the images can only be opened in camera raw. Also, each camera manufacturer like Nikon, Canon, Sony, they create their own version of a RAW file and attach a different file extension to the name of the file. Like Canon uses CRW and CR2, Nikon uses NEF, um, and etc. To find these settings on your camera, you want to open up the shooting menu and look for the image quality. And that, I have a little screenshot of that, that will look like this. Um, this is what it looks like on a Canon camera. You want to look for this little camera icon and then find the image quality um, in your menu. And most cameras are set up um, kind of in this basic method. There may be some variances, but um, for the most part, um, it will be the same or similar at least. 
So I think we're finally to the point where we can start opening photos in Camera Raw. So stay tuned and we will get to that next.